Yeah, hey guys, it's uh, it's me. I'm back with uh, another book review. Uh, I'm going to delve right into it. We got a lot of information to cover. Uh, once again, I'm going to be reviewing the sequel to Divergent, Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I'm going to tell you, uh, like I said, there's a lot of information. I didn't want to give anything away on the first book, uh, Divergent, so I waited until this book so that we could talk about what, what happened. Good God. Did, was that not a roller coaster of a ride, Divergent? I don't know if any of you have seen the movie. If not, just read the book first. Veronica Roth, man, <clears throat> she took us on a ride. I don't know, but this book picks up right where that other one left off. I mean... Right there at the Amity compound, everything's going crazy, bombs are going down. Uh, you, you know, all of a sudden, some kind of serum that this Janine lady has been, uh, had been given the Dauntless is, has, called the, has caused the, the Dauntless people uh, uh, to, to go, <laughs> to go a ape crap, and, and now they've attacked people. Uh, we, we realize that uh, Trish, uh, in the ensuing uh, escape and battle, uh, she she accidentally uh, killed Will. She had to in order to survive, and she she had to deal with that guilt. And and this book picks up with her still trying to deal with that guilt and and, and trying to decide how she's going to break it to to Chris, Christina, who uh, she developed a friend with from the, a, fr uh, a friendship with from the first novel. And if you know of everything from Christina's character, she's a, a happy-go-lucky, a, a loving uh, person. Uh, that that was joining Dauntless. Uh, she she was one of the first people to befriend Trish when Trish uh, first came over uh, and joined the Dauntless. And so that friendship is now, you know, Trish is just worried about that. And of course, her uh, Christina and Will, um, Christine and Will becoming, um, uh, you know, a love interest. Uh, it makes everything so much more difficult. And so, like I said, that's where this book picks up. And I mean, uh, Veronica Roth hits this one. She hits the ground running in this one, and she doesn't let up. Uh, you know, like I said, the Dauntless attack is going on. This G uh, this Janine lady is is just completely, you know, freaking crazy. Uh, we learn uh, about four, and uh, four and Tris has developed uh, into some type of relationship uh, from the previous book, and uh, we learn that his name is Tobias. And that his father Marcus yeah, was basically a, yeah, you know what? Yeah, he was, uh, you know, not only emotionally abusive to four uh, as a child, but that he was also uh, physically abusive. And as part of the uh, initiation into getting into the Dauntless, uh, part of these fear simulations that they have to constantly go through, uh, dealing with his father which is one of his only that's the reason why Tobias got the name for was all these other people have all these other fears well Tobias he just has four that's how he got his name and one of them obviously is is his father can't bring himself to face him and you know up until this point we've we've thought that uh, his 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 mother which we find out her in this book that her name Evelyn uh, we, we think her to be dead or deceased. Well, this book we find out that she is still alive, uh, very much alive, and she she's not exactly uh, that far from the tree uh, <coughs> on this deal. Uh, but well, uh, you know, anything. Anyways, we pick up at the Amity compound. That's the the faction leader there. Her name is Joanna, and uh, she's been running this thing for a while and. They've been developing with the erudite all these awesome things with plants and deals like that and and different things, but they're a peace deal <coughs> structured in a, in peace because that's the Amity way. Uh, so everything is everything's weird. Uh, we're at Amity. Things are going crappy. <coughs> uh, we learn that Triss's uh, Triss's parents, uh, especially from the last book. Trisha's mom wound up being from Dauntless, of all people. What did I tell you about uh, paying attention to you know, Trisha's mom as she shows up right there at the last and what the crap? Uh, you know, we, we learn about that's going on and holy crap, once again, 
another bombshell that Veronica uh, 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 drops on us. And then we also learn about uh, Trish's father. We think that there were both abnegation, and especially since he was so displeased with her not choosing abnegation. Where, and then all of a sudden, we sh at the last of that book, he shows up, and we learn that he he wasn't even abnegation to begin with. That uh, this guy, he wound up being uh, uh, he he wound up being uh, from erudite. Uh, the the people that apparently uh, seem to be the instigators in this whole situation, or are they? And we we still got a third book in this uh, whole situation. So, like I said, we start off from point A and divergent, and the Veronica Roth is just keep expanding this thing, and the characters that just keep going. Uh, and so, anyways, uh, here we are. We're, we're we're all the way into this thing. Uh, she gets in the train and, 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 and Edward's in the train and they're going into this deal and they and they get into the faction factionless headquarters and, and <clears throat> you know and now like I said we figure out uh, four is in there and it's it's we find out that it's being led by uh, that, well we find out first that he's still alive and secondly that it's being ran by four's mother Evelyn she's running the factionless and apparently for the longest time they've been planning this uprising and she's the leader <clears throat> and so they're not exactly uh, best of uh, the best of friends uh, for and his mother and this whole dichotomy and relationship further further intensifies it in the entire uh, 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 run of this book that you'll learn and at the ending of it big boom uh, another big big boom at the end of this book if you didn't think that Veronica Roth had more for you this this is not even if it's even we're not even at the tip of the iceberg uh, and then of course uh, so they get to the Candor headquarters so I'll skip ahead here like I said because I'm a read and find out guy uh, we get to the Candor headquarters uh, all of a sudden and now there's a, a there's a there's a new serum that 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 Janine is able to control the Dauntless from long distances uh, at, at once they, they, they've left the Amity and now they're at the Candor headquarters. Weird things are happening. We have a whole trial for uh, uh, let's see for Eric and obviously uh, you know he wants to select his killer and you know he selects a core and <clears throat> uh, and then the Dauntless, the ones that aren't affected by it, decide that we need some new leadership. And of course, they go about selecting their new leadership and who's a part of it. And, uh, you know, this all goes down in this book. And, <clears throat> I mean, it just further further gets into this thing. And, and we, we, we find out that, the, uh, uh, the once again, the, the further progression uh, uh, of Trisha's character from being the small, timid, uh, abnegation girl to all of a sudden I mean she's once again she's fearless she's uh, she's unbounded uh, we've the uh, di divergent uh, she's she's uh, she's so much of all these things uh, uh, you know uh, she can't be controlled she's the uncontrollable uh, the more Janine tries to do nothing nothing that Je this Janine girl tries to do to, to do these things <coughs> has uh, has worked thus far on Trish or any of these divergent people and they've tried to eliminate them and kill them and so it can at the Candor headquarters they try and say that okay now what's going to happen is that uh, now that we can control you people we're going to have a member of the Dauntless uh, walk off the, the edge of a building and kill themselves if uh, a divergent does not give themselves up for uh, <coughs> And, and so, and actually, of course, Trish is going to be the one to stop this because she doesn't want anybody to sacrifice themselves for her. Once again, displaying selflessness but also fearlessness. I'm telling you, this girl's awesome. And, uh, uh, you know, and also one of my favorite characters during this whole series that kept me cry cracking up, Marlene. Uh, uh, you know, once again, she, she really shines in this book. Uh, lots of great characters in this book shine, but you know, um, <clears throat> uh, you'll see the relationship between Trish and Christine. Obviously, Marlene, she's got a great thing going on. Marlene is, is a great character in this book, and you're going to love her. She keeps you cracking up. She, uh, but you know, obviously, Shauna, 
Shauna, the, the pragmatic one, she's always a very a pessimist through this series. Shauna's character shines in this book. Uh, and then, of course, the big shocker here, uh, uh, Trish's brother. Big shock in this book. Trish's brother, we find out from the first book, he chose, uh, he chose to go to the Erudites. Oh, and I mean, you talk about, I mean, he was, uh, the family was upset that Trish decided to go dauntless, but, oh, you imagine the Trish's father coming from Erudite himself, and Janine being an Erudite, instigating this whole thing for Caleb, Caleb, to choose Erudite after all of this, and to be working with Janine now, even looking up to her. This was a big thing right here. Caleb, Trish's own brother. I mean, this this whole relationship thing. So you've got things and relationships all over the place right now that, that Veronica Roth has done an awesome job of doing. And, uh, and then also back at the Amity headquarters, like I said, uh, Trish saved Peter's life when the Dauntless attacked. And so uh, how does that come back into play? Uh, does Peter... Does Peter you know, kind of, kind of save face here a little bit. Does Peter, even though he's kind of comes off as a jerk in the first couple of books, you know, does he kind of, he's kind of for himself. Is it an opportunity here for him to kind of not be such a, so much of a jerk? Uh, Peter, could you, could you possibly not be such a jerk here? You'll find out in this book, uh, obviously. Uh, and then of course we have Tori. Tori's story about losing her brother and in the first book about uh, telling first, uh, Tori's the first one that tells Trish about what this whole divergent thing could be and about kind of keeping it on the down low. And we, we find out at the end of this, Tori plays a big, big deal when, when, they, when they divide up and they finally get into that control room where uh, after, after, you know, after Trish has to go through that simulation and fight herself and stuff and gets into there in that mainframe computer, computer and of all people, Trish and Marcus, Marcus finally convinces Trish that whatever's on that computer needs to be saved. Well, Tori gets in there, obviously, from losing her brother, and she's ready to, to kill Janine, obviously, here. And the whole confrontation there, Trish, of all people, you would think we were ready to kill Janine, but what happens there? Well, what's going to go happen? You know, yeah, read and find out. And then, of course, the final scene here, and I've been talking about it, Tobias, his mother, that whole relationship, Marcus, all this thing going down, and boom, that final scene, that final revelation uh, with the factionless, do they take him taking over the city? Four, uh, the four proudly walks into that room when everybody thinks they know what's going on, and he puts that VHS, VHS tape in there that he finds it. And we think we, we, we think once again that we know finally after you know the book, we think we kind of get a firm grasp on what's going on and then shaboom, we get a video of a lady named Amanda Ritter uh, that, uh, that once again throws everything that we thought we knew out the window and leaves us with a cliffhanger leading right into the third book of the trilogy, Allegiant. And once again, we, we don't know what's going to happen, what Veronica Roth has got in store for us next. Uh, and I'm not even going to tell you what it is because I want you to read it. Uh, go out and get this book, Insurgent, Veronica Roth, right here. Uh, you're going to love it. Read this thing. You won't be able to put it down. And I can't wait to review the last book, Allegiant, so that I can finally talk about the ending, the much-talked-about ending very controversial ending and I can finally talk about the rest of this without giving any more spoilers away uh, so go get it on Kindle or the hardback version and read it it's awesome uh, from my bookshelf to yours keep on reading people